I just got back from four hours in a car. I was down seeing family, seeing my grandmother and father down in Devon, England. So that's a few hours away. I'm back now. I understand there's a lot of news. I've got a roundup coming. Ign ignore the cabinet. I don't know why that's here. It it, it, it it got here somehow, and I'm not entirely sure how. I have got my roundup notes here. You see, where, where I come from, down in Devon, we're all very backwards. We still write notes on scrolls. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, you wouldn't know it, but insult to injury, it's upside down. Let's get cracking with the, the roundup. So, Origins News was pretty dead before I went to visit family, and then the moment I step away from my computer where I can do things, Sod's Law would decree that it would rain news, and it, it literally did rain bloody news. So sit tight everybody, this is going to be a really long roundup video. So I'd like to begin by talking about these images. Now to begin with we have this image of Bayek's front, which is obviously some render and some art. It's nothing much really, but I thought I'd throw it in there because I think it looks kind of cool. Again, it's not much at all, but I just thought it was nice looking and thought it was worth throwing in there. Moving on, when I was away, there were new screenshots released for the game, so let's take a look at those. So to start off with, we have this image of Bayek fighting a couple of guys with what looks like a spear. I could be wrong and I could be blind, but that's what it looks like from this angle. There's fire in the background. It looks nice but there's not much to grasp from it. Moving on, on the next image, we have got another image of Bayek fighting some guy with, I don't, it's like a warhammer sort of thing, or like a war axe. I don't know what that weapon is, but he's about to attack this spear guy. It looks nice, that's the point. And if I haven't said it before, I really like the colors that's going on here, but I think I've expressed that before, but it is nice. And this image again shows combat, and this guy's got some chain on a whip. It's a mace sort of thing but with a chain and it's hitting by a shield. It looks lethal and cool. Will we be able to use one? Hopefully. I also like the misty environment. Will the game be like this or was that just for this render? And this final image shows the arena combat thing, you know, where Bayek's killing some guy and there's this guy coming up behind him. Again, this doesn't tell us much, but it sets a scene and it is quite beautiful to look at. Hopefully these screenshots accurately represent the experience. And finally, we have this screenshot from IGN, which shows Bayek in a city, showing the city atmosphere that the game has, as it's a bit more densely populated, not too dense, and Bayek is walking up some steps towards these tall things, which are a landmark of sorts, they have to be. And it is very nice to look at. And I like how Bayek stands, so maybe when you're on steps, Bayek's feet will dynamically place themselves, but that would be really grasping at straws. I mean, we can hope so, but those are the screenshots. Now moving on to the next piece of information. Now this is regarding the actor Manolis Emmanuel is confirmed as part of the cast of Assassin's Creed Origins playing two characters, one of which is called Darius. This is according to IMDB. Is this the Darius that is a part of the Persian Brotherhood from a few hundred years before the setting of Origins, or is this another Darius entirely? Darius isn't exactly an uncommon name from back then, I'd imagine, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a different character entirely, but I can understand why people might be hopeful that this confirms different time settings and things and meta stories of sorts, but I do believe different time settings was kind of shot down already, so I won't get my hopes up on that one. Moving on to a quick point, apparently Assassin's Creed Origins has benefited from the year off that Ubisoft took after Syndicate in 2016, which is great to hear from them saying that they think that that year off has benefited the game greatly. I think that they should take a couple extra years off in between Origins and the next game, just to make sure it's all perfect. And I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that we probably won't miss the yearly release cycle. Now I do believe there was an IGN first video showing off the pyramid area in Assassin's Creed Origins. Now I personally didn't watch this because I want to save the pyramid area for my experience so I experience the magic myself. But given the response from people that I know, it's blown people away. So I'll, if you want to go search for that, go ahead. Apparently it's mind blowing and that's really encouraging. Moving on, hand-to-hand -hand combat is confirmed to be in Assassin's Creed Origins. In the sense that you can use your fists to fight. I don't mean actual hand-to-hand, hand-to-hand sort of hand-to-hand. -hand. I just mean using your fists to fight. 
which we see in a dev Q&A sort of video that was released on Ubisoft US which shows off the combat in its current state and it looks a lot better as far as aesthetics go than what we saw probably around E3 time. Not by much, but where it counts. Most notably the dodge animation which is always good. So Ubisoft have clearly taken the criticism from E3 and they have used it to their advantage, which earns my respect on so many levels. But the combat footage shown in this video is a lot better than the footage that we saw at E3 as far as the aesthetics go. But just out of curiosity, which weapon do you think you will use for your combat? Because I quite like the look of the dual wielding. Because who doesn't like to cut their enemy into 600 pieces? Moving on from an interview with Ashraf Ismail from some website that name escapes me, we got some information regarding certain desert areas. So the three we now know about are the Great Sand Sea, the White Desert and the Eastern Mountains which are like a mountainous desert area. We also got some information about the cities. Alexandria is a more educated built up and organised area and Memphis is a bit older and more traditional and players will apparently feel it. So, unlike in Assassin's Creed 3 where Boston and New York felt exactly the same, Memphis and Alexandria will present completely different feels and aesthetics. That's exactly what I want, that's great. Also, beneath Memphis there will be vast caverns that will have their own storylines and quests and things, which is also interesting to find out about. And as we probably guessed, boats can take damage and even sink and be attacked by animals and then sink and things like that. Basically, boats can sink, which we probably could have predicted, and that's cool, that's a cool little feature, why not? In other news, PC Games released two new videos showing off the scenery of the cities and other areas of Assassin's Creed Origins, and honestly, it looks really, really, really beautiful. All in all, I'm quite liking what I see. And we also got footage, including Bayek with a beard, and that was also shown earlier in this video. If you look closely, it does look as if Bayek has a beard. And I think, yep, that probably confirms that beard growth and beard cutting will be in Origins, 100%. Though I think we already know that, I just haven't covered it as completely confirmed to be in the game. But there you have it. Moving on, some guy who works on Assassin's Creed Origins was tweeted by Rhino the Bouncer of the Codex and asked if he was in Greece regarding Assassin's Creed Origins DLC or future Assassin's Creed games, to which he replied with no, but something with a winky face which apparently was suggestive, I think it's a complete straw grasp on Rhino the Bouncer's part and all that. But, if I were to set an Assassin's Creed Origins DLC in a new land somewhere, it would either be further south in Egypt, or in Greece, a little bit of Greece. But of course, like I said, that was completely grasping at straws and a little bit of speculation on my part because it would make sense. But other than that, there is no evidence to suggest that that is anything that exists. But do let me know what you think about a potential Assassin's Creed game or DLC in Greece. Also, I do believe this image from IGN is actually our first look at Memphis properly in a screenshot which is away from those two tower things that you can see in the distance, and it does look a little bit older like Ashraf Ismail said it would. Of course, there's much, much more little details probably that I haven't actually included in this video. However, that's probably for your own sanity's sake rather than anything else. And at the same time, this is all that I remember missing. But there you have it everybody, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you think of all this stuff down in the comment section as always, and I will see you all in the next one with another video.